and welcome back to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. I'm happy to be finally sitting back down and like doing another video because it has been four months since I filmed a video last. It will not, not filmed a video, I should say. I should say since I last uploaded the video. Um, I did recently film a video and I just never uploaded it just because one, I wasn't really happy with the video, plus some just stuff happened and like background noise in the video that I really couldn't really do anything with so I decided just to scrap the whole video and call it good. First off I'm hoping that this stupid air conditioner behind me that's blowing is not going to be like too obnoxiously loud. I was going to film a different way but then I figured if I did it any other way that like the air conditioner sound would just be even louder and I really can't shut it off because it's like 98 degrees here and this room will like instantly start heating up and yeah um recently just did a whole bunch of stuff around the house so like because of that we decided to do window air conditioners in all of our rooms instead of doing a central air unit just because the central air unit that was installed when we got our house wasn't the right one and i'm not gonna pay to fix it and like it's not so much pay to fix it but pay to get a new one because i had to get a whole new unit to like accommodate the house and I ain't about that life. I'd rather just pay to get the stupid window air conditioners and it turns out to be cheaper on an electric bill anyway, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, a lot has happened in the last four months. I just, a lot. Um, I've not been in the greatest place myself, but you know, things happen, life happens, you know, whatever. But I definitely, I know last time when I uploaded the video, I said I wanted to be more present on my channel. And then, excuse my language, shit hit the fan from there. Um, February, March, April, those were kind of a rough couple months for me and just a lot of stuff happened and I wasn't really in the place to film videos, but different, definitely different now. And I'm definitely in a place where I'm happy and ready to film videos for you guys. And there's so much new stuff. We're getting into summer, which means summer launches and we all know that like this is the time of year when fragrances really start to pick up again. So. I'm extremely, extremely happy to be getting ready to film some more videos with you guys. I'm here in a little bit. I'm going to take you guys on like a quick little room tour. So I definitely, as you can see, my uh, filming setup has changed a little bit. Um, if you guys like my previous filming setup, slash if you guys have any ideas on new filming setup, like angles or whatever, if you guys don't care about my background, if you, whatever, I definitely want to make a this more for you guys. So... Um, like I said, we kind of rearranged this room. Um, when we put in the window air conditioner, we, like, <sighs> the whole process kind of happened all at the same time. So, I decided I wanted to build a custom bookcase in this room that could hold some of my longer collections, such as, like, the Paris collection, and, like, farther up here, I've got uh, Brittany and Shakira. And I just wanted to have the people who do have a larger collection um, who are more important than just my personal collection, like, this, as, when I started my whole YouTube channel, you guys, this whole thing was my collection, like, no one pays me to do videos, as you guys know, if I ever do, like, have, like, someone send me luxury scent box or anything like that, um, I tell you guys about it, so, like, this is definitely still my collection, um, I still have been collecting off-camera, and it's one of those things that, like, I love YouTube, I love doing YouTube videos, and I had to step away for a little bit just to deal with life, and now, but now I'm back, and I'm ready to film some videos. I don't want to promise anything, I don't want to promise time frames just because it's just how I, like, I, I don't want to promise you guys anything and then fail and fall short again, but I definitely want to be doing more videos for you guys in the upcoming, like, in the future, so... Um, but back to what I was saying. So back here, I, we built, like, this whole custom bookcase. And literally, we built this whole thing and then decided to put the window air conditioners in. So behind me, in my old filming, like, setup, it used to go at, like, a V behind me. So this wall right here was, like, the back part of the, or, like, the left-hand side of my previous videos. And it was a bank of four just standard bookcases. Um, that kind of held random collections. Um, now it is just like a ginormous bookcase. And, um, we put one by, oh, what are these, one by eights, um, across the entire wall. 
and then they're kind of supported randomly with these little things. The wood is a lot sturdier. It does kind of bow in a little areas just because like it's long and there's nothing supporting it in the middle. Um, but it's safe and it's secure and it's not going to break on me. But I'll take you guys on a quick little tour of that. Give me one. Minute. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's just like this gigantic, whole gigantic bookcase. Of, and it lets me have the collections that mean a lot to me kind of strung out and see the whole thing lined up. Just because I really like that kind of look. Um, but definitely this is the look we're going for. And just to kind of sweep around, so like how I used to previously record what the camera would sit here and then you guys would see that V um, and then we used to have like a big tall bank right here um, that has since been moved all the way around the room to here and it's actually what I'm currently using as my monitor to see but so this monitor as you guys can see that's now like an infinite display which this is fun um, that was the monitor I used to have behind me. If you guys missed the monitor and want it back, I could definitely flip and film toward this angle. But I kind of just rearranged it and made the whole room just a little bit different. Give it kind of a fresh, updated feel. Um, so kind of the same. I just put recently all my bath and body work to mist up here, which I know you guys can't see because there's no light. But put all my bath and better works to miss all the way Last around. Last time I uploaded was four months ago, like I had said, and it was um, two installments into the Fragrance Knockout series and some other videos before that. And you guys really, really seemed to enjoy the Fragrance Knockout series. It was something I had been playing with for a very long time, and I'm super glad that I finally sat down and did it. Those are such fun videos to film, and I have, on my phone, I know I have a, a, another few um, videos set up, like, that I could do, um, for the Fragrance Knockout series, so if you guys are definitely interested in those, I can bring those to you guys, um, definitely some stuff I could review for you guys as well if you want, I did, um, I've still been collecting and still getting stuff behind the scenes, so, like, I've gotten, uh, Daisy Love, where, if I can get that, Mark Jacobs, Daisy Love, recently, um, I don't remember how long ago I got this. This is a really, really good one. I got this uh, shortly after it came out, and it was a really, really good one. It's like a more gourmet version of Dor uh, of like Daisy um, and that interpretation of that. But I can definitely give you guys a full review of that. There's the new Ariana Grande fragrance coming soon, which if you guys have heard about, um, she posted on her Instagram story, and I'm so excited for that one. Um, then we've got... Platinum Rush, which will go back in that little hole back there once it comes out, whenever it comes out, and once we finally get notes for that. There is, like, a new Rihanna perfume that's been kind of circulating the internet, which is, like, Rebel Fleur Love Always, which it looks a lot like the original Rebel Fleur bottle, but instead of it being, like, gold liquid, it's, like, a black kind of bottle with the black stripe around it and, like, a black neck. Um... Other, there's so much I can't wait to see like what summer and spring brings us well summer now that we're out of spring and I completely miss spring um, but I'm definitely excited to bring more videos to you guys but I want to bring what you guys want so I want you guys to sound off in the comments below and let me know what you guys want to see because I am ready to bring you guys the content that you guys want and I want to bring you guys content so much so let me know below what you want to see. Let me know what you want for future Fragrance Knockout videos. If those are videos you guys liked and want to see more of. Because, um, I, I mean, there's a lot of collections that are finished, air quo, or are current. Like, Shakira, though, I don't know. Could we ever do a Fragrance Knockout on Shakira? Because, one, I don't know if I'm ever going to have all of her fragrances. Because, God, that woman releases a lot of fragrances. And, two, like... She's always releasing another one. We just found out that she was releasing Dreams. Like, Dream was, like, a fragrance that got announced. And then, literally, there's already another spinoff to Dream. Like, why is there so many freaking Shakira fragrances? So, who knows? We'll see. What we'll bring, like, what happens. Maybe she'll slow down long enough for me to film a, you know, a fragrance knockout for her. But hers would be, like, two hours long. So, let me guys, let me know, guys. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. I'm so, so excited to be back. And I hope you guys are excited for me to come back. Um, and let me know what you guys want. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.